So I've got this perfect side control. So I talked before, this forearm in my neck, it's, uh, it stops me getting my pressure down, it sets up all of Justin's escapes, but it also means his arm is sticking. So one of the things I can do um, is I can put a little bit of pressure and then put my hand on his elbow and then choose one moment and then come up and down like this to clear it to this side of my head. Right? He's just going to pull it back and then do the same thing. Right. So I want to do that and then drop my head. Right? So that now his arm is trapped in place here. And we're going to set up a submission called an arm triangle. Yeah. An arm triangle is going to essentially just choke Justin like this. Just like this. If I'm on this side of him, it's very, very hard to do. Right? So although I've set this up, this choke up, I have to get to the other side of him to better finish him, right? Without getting caught in his legs and half guard or guard raise again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean on his head, I'm going to bring one leg across, and then before I pull this foot out, I'm going to bring my other one across like this, you see? So this one can, so I can control his legs and then kick through. Fancy footwork. <laughs> you can also just jump over, <laughs> but the fancy footwork counts. So from here, I'm going to adjust. So I'm going to slide down and then up under his chin. I don't want to squeeze his face. People will tax the old face squeeze, but not as easily. So I want to come down and then up under his chin. I want to get just my, this is a V. The further his neck is in that V, the tighter it's going to be the choke. So I want to get this arm as deep through as I can and then up under his chin. Now, this V, the lower I am, the tighter that's going to be, right? If I'm way up, if I'm way up here, it's a big space, so I get low, that space disappears. So I got this nice and deep, right? And now I get low to the floor, as low as I can get. I get hooked up yet? <laughs> I'm going to use my head to push his head into that V at the same time, right? So I'm going to sit down and push him with my head. Boom, here. Now the, the trick to make arm triangles horrendous or good, is you put your knee on their hip, right? So what I'm trying to do is like curl just in that way, right? Turn it into like a prawn, right? So what he will do, as I push his head, if I don't do anything, he will like follow me with his legs, right? But if I do this and I put my knee on his hip and I sprawl out here, right? That stops him being able to follow me with his hips and move like so I'm here, push the elbow, get to there. Keep my head down so he can't get his arm up. One leg over, other leg over, look, coming high, control his feet, kick through. Come up under his chin, sprawl low, put my ear on his ear, put my knee on his hip, and tap him up. You can also. Just jump over. So I'm just trying to avoid getting caught in half guard. So jumping over works well. It might leave some space when you do it, but if you do a lot of yoga and you're okay at headstands, you should be you'll be able to do the jump here. So I get to here, I don't do a lot of yoga, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I get there, boom, I jump, over to the other side, get low, get my submission. There. Everyone happy with that? Mm -hmm. One, two, three.